definition definition purpose a definition helps to set the boundaries for what is to be discussed whether it is a thing an idea or an emotion a definition shows what something is and what it is not developing a paragraph through providing a definition will help your reader to better understand what it is that you are discussing in your writing Therefore, if you're going to do this, it may be a good idea to do it early in your essay. In this way, you show the reader exactly what you're talking about before you explore it in great depth. Types of definition Formal A formal definition is one where there is a general statement of the general class that the item belongs to. This is then followed by a statement showing how this item is different from other items in that class. For example, an earring is a piece of jewellery that is worn in the ears. In this example, the general class is that it is a piece of jewellery, and then it is shown how it is different from other pieces of jewellery as it is worn in the ears. Types of Definition Stipulative a stipulative definition is one where you show the particular way in which you are using a word. This may be the case where a word has more than one meaning. For example, if you're discussing the word pride, then you may have to stipulate which type of pride you're talking about, as pride may be a good thing or a bad thing. Therefore, you need to show if you are proud in a good way, such as you are proud of the love that you feel in your family, or was he proud because he thought he was better than other people. Types of definition extended. An extended definition may be used where you want to explore something in great detail. In that case, you may have something very complex that you want to explore, such as a value or an emotion. If the topic is something controversial, you may find that in your definition, you may have to persuade your reader to accept your definition. For example, in a piece of writing on mercy killing, you may want to define what is life. Definitions using synonyms, negation, entomology. There are different things that you can use to define something. Firstly, you can use synonyms. This is where you want to look for words that have a similar meaning to what you're defining. This can help to show the reader the range of what you are looking at, as well as using words that the reader may be more familiar with. Negation Negation shows the reader what your definition does not include, for example, if you're talking about the love that a mother has for a daughter, you can show what it is by showing how different it is from a woman's love for her husband. Finally, you can explore the definition of a word by looking at the root of the word. For example, patriotism comes from the Greek word for father. Remember that if you want to define something in greater detail, you can use one or more of the methods that we've just looked at. For example, you may want to define patriotism by showing that it comes from Greek and what it originally meant. Then you can use negation by showing how it is different from the definition of nationalism. You can show that you are referring to love of your homeland rather than using that love of your homeland as the basis for viewing one country as greater than another.